hello you, welcome back to Geekism and welcome back to Project Hospital uh, where we're going to carry on with our little GP surgery. We're going to start wrapping up here soon to be honest with you because, um, uh, well I just I don't really have time to play this much more. The, 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 um, the little sort of uh, demo version we've got here runs out soon unfortunately so uh, we're going to start wrapping things up but I've really enjoyed my first look here. If you enjoy this video please let me know by clicking on the like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, don't forget to click subscribe. So a couple of things we have to take care of. Uh, let's get the walls down, first of all. GPs are all running nice and sound. We've got an x-ray. We're going to have one or two other like advanced features up here, I think. Uh, but one thing we do need to do is come in and fix our... Um, uh, car park here because a few people pointed out that one uh, there is actually asphalt in the game you can place it down I just didn't see it and two you'll be able to actually get cars in and out of here and you are completely right so let's get into build menu um, let's get into stuff and then what we're gonna do is get rid of all of this I don't think oh there is no there is a bulldozer isn't there hold on let's see if we can find bulldozer there we go what we're gonna do is clear out that area there we're going to have to clear these out due to how it's made. In fact, let's just bulldoze the uh, the whole area here because these are actually um, foundations which we don't want them to be anymore. We're going to keep that bit of grass, a uh, bit of green there. But look here, if we go to here, there's a page two. Ha ha! Page two that we just never saw beforehand. Now what we're going to do is actually cover it in all of that area there, okay? And then we're going to have. Um, Let's have a look. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, that's a shame. I was really hoping to be able to do one, two, three. Um, tell you what. One, two, three. Can we do something like that? Okay. And then, what about there? Yes. Okay. So we're going to take this to just a one, a one thin path, and we might as well do it there as well, so it all makes sense. And in fact, we'll do it there as well. Cool. So here we've got a couple of uh, disabled spaces, um, so we'll keep those as they are. There's no way of doing anything on the floor that suggests that disabled spaces, unfortunately. There are there are decals in the game here, but they all are for uh, the wall, unfortunately. So a few floor ones would be good, if uh, the developer's listening. That'd be cool. Let's head back over to here, and uh, page 2, where we can place some normal uh, spaces down there. So let's go for here 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 uh oh we're not gonna get one in there one two three let's do that then oh that's weird how they link up but it's fine i guess um so now we've got one two three we've got three spaces it ain't much but it's fine i wonder if we do all of that what does that look like hmm no i think uh i think actually that would probably look better there we go and we can treat that as like a as a uh uh, ambulance space eventually. I don't think we can edit that out there. No, we can't. That's fine. So let's do a couple of um, cracks. Let's make it a little bit more realistic. And we've got here. These are these are like um, uh, water vents. Uh, like, you know, like water drains. So we'll have a few of those around as well. And then there's also like dirt and, and, and stuff. So maybe maybe that should be dirt instead of uh, grass. Let's have a look. Yeah, I mean it's a bit grun grungy, but I think that probably works better. What What are the other options? Let's have a look. Um, con construction sand, gravel. I don't think gravel will look right, will it? Let's have a look. No, gravel doesn't look right. I think probably grass looks the best actually out of all of them. But one thing we do need to do now is put down. Um, Where's our fences? Here we go. Right, okay. Because now we, we don't have any fencing here, but we need fencing. Because this is going to be a dangerous spot now. Okay, so let's do... Alright, um, should we leave that open for an ambulance? Yeah, let's leave it open for an ambulance. And we'll do that there. And then we'll have... Hmm. The problem is with having them there is it makes it going to be quite difficult to walk through. But I suppose we can re-establish the uh, the space we've got, can't we? So let's do that, and then let's move these um, to there, 
uh, other side, and we'll just ditch these ones. Uh, bins are okay, you can squeeze past the bins. The only thing we have, there's a lamp here that probably won't fit anymore, but now it can go out here. Can it not? Uh, no? Hmm. Street lamp blocked by another object. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, no street lamp either then. That's to you. Um, Vinya. There we go. So now we have a car park with uh, a little less space, but to be honest with you, it's quite a small place. I'm thinking we can maybe set up a second car park somewhere else in the future anyway. So let's have a look at the actual hospital there, because once again, we're actually letting the actual hospital not matter anymore. We're doing car park stuff. Somebody commented, Mr. Blow commented on the first video that we're doing a new thrist. Um <clears throat> So by the way, this is the first time I'm recording... Uh, I'm back from holiday now, so this is the first time I'm recording. The other ones have all been uh, pre-recorded, so apologies if you have been requesting stuff or suggesting stuff and I've, I've been ignoring you. I haven't. It's just that uh, those first few were all batched. Um, so treat one patient per day at general surgery, open clinic at general surgery. So that is, that's our next thing to do, isn't it? Intensive care, general surgery. I don't know about surgery, though. That's like... That's pretty full on, isn't it? We have got some radiology rooms that we haven't done, though. I don't think we're going to get to look at surgery this time. I, d I don't think we're there. I, don't, I, I think that's a bit advanced for us. But we do have uh, CT rooms and CAG rooms that we don't have available. That's a, CAG is an insurance company objective. Let's have a look at our insurance company objectives. Um, oh, yeah, those are, those are there, aren't they? So, yeah, none of those give us our CG room. So instead... We will look at doing... Oh, MRI we can do as well. So we've got an MRI and a CT scan. Okay, so let's go for a uh, CT room. Do we have to put the foundation down first? Yes, we do. Okay. So build foundations. So we'll carry our corridor. Let's bring our corridor this way. Do we join it up to there? I mean, I guess we can do, can't we? Yeah, let's join our corridor up to there. Okay. CT scan room can be here. Okay, corridor is going to carry on up this way to come down here. Uh, to come down here, but not join on. And then we're going to have our little garden like we keep threatening here. All right, so uh, let us go back to ooh, sorting out rooms. So where's our uh, corridor? There we go. So we're going to bring our corridor up this way to here and then also up this way and across to here that's good so hopefully this is big enough I'm looking at it now I don't think it is actually so I'll tell you what we'll do we'll head back to foundations and just add on a chunk there there's that and then we'll go back to uh, corridor and we'll get rid of you uh, can we can we minus is there a clear room Remove rooms. Perfect. There we go. Oh, oh, has that released the whole thing? Ouch. Okay, well, somebody also said that the reception can come up to here or the waiting room can come up to here. I don't think it matters too much, um, but you're right. That can go like that. So then corridor here. It'll only take us a quick second to do this. Maybe keep the corridor separate. I mean, I just don't know really as to whether they need to be one or not. It just, to me, looks nice that it's that it's neat, you know. Like that. That awful whacking bang on that thing when it gets going. And hopefully that there. I'll tell you what, yeah, let's do it that way. And then the, the garden can enter here and this can be the CT. There's a big, CT scans, they're, they're pretty big bits of kit, aren't they? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, so CT scan now goes there. Beautiful. Okay, walls up then. Um, we'll keep it simple with our white walls on this wall here. Like that. And then here. On here. There we go. And then exterior wall there and there. Like I say, I'm still not sure whether that is actually how it's meant to be. I really don't know. It just it seems right to me. Okay, double doors. Let's get some double doors here into this space which is going to be a lovely garden so grass all the way through it okay but now we've got some gravel so we can have gravel 
coming down it like that. Oh yeah, I'm talking about that. Okay. Oh, it's a shame because I know we've got I know we've got a lovely outdoor bit a thing they can put down, but it's only on a single square. Look, that's a shame. Is there any? There's roof satellites. Okay. Uh, so really, we want some. The idea is to have some benches like that. Okay. And then a. I'd like a. I'd like a big tree, really. Uh, there, and maybe a tall tree in there as well. And yeah, some flowers would be good. So let's do flowers there, and there, and there, and there. And then we'll make the ground underneath those the dirt. So that makes it look a bit more realistic. There we go. And then we'll have a row of dirt along the back there that we can have some bushes in. There we go, and now we've got a nice little outdoorsy bit. We'll get some windows in this. I, I think I didn't originally didn't want windows here, but I think we kind of need some now out into the uh, beautiful gardeny bit. There we go, and then we'll have some on this side as well. Um, we'll put them in first. And then work around them because otherwise sometimes you run out of space to be honest. Uh, we do need to get rid of that window there now because now you're no longer outdoors, are you? Is that any a problem anywhere else? I don't think it is, but we are going to have to get rid of this bit of wall like that. And then we go back to our lovely laminate. We are all about the laminate here on Geekism. And we'll drop all those down. Somebody suggested that maybe carpet in this area would be better than laminate. And that's not a bad idea. So let's have a look. Dark covered tile. I don't know if we actually have carpet. There's lino. There's panelling. And there's... I mean, that one there is just relatively plain. Um, but it's they're all relatively wishy colours. That one, I suppose. Maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, and that's... Is that pink even, or or the very light red? Okay, I'm happy to go with that. I think maybe the the, the floor underneath the uh, the desk itself needs to be a bit harder wearing. So how's that? Yes. Okay. Happy with that. All right. Good. So corridor here. It's, does it make sense that this corridor here doesn't join up? I think it looks weird now, but when we branch out to it, I think it'll be okay. We'll have a, we'll maybe put a large car park at the back. Okay, let's get back to this room here. We'll put some nice. Uh, should we do red red flooring? Yeah, why not? Okay. So, what do you need? Let's have a look. Equipment cabinet, radiology viewer. Where's the actual big old machine? There it is. CT scan. Oh, it's nowhere near as big as I thought. Okay. Um, so this is interesting. This is one of the ones where I don't. Does it have to go against a wall or something, or is that it? That's a really modern, funky-looking thing. Okay, so let's have it... I think CT scans should be... I'm sure you're not allowed, like, metal stuff around, isn't that? Or is that MRI? One of them that's like a big magnet. I remember when I had one once with my labyrinthitis, they had to check for... Check out and had a stroke. <laughs> and, um, and that's not funny, sorry, but it was pretty crazy at the time. Um, and I think we had to have... Like all metal stuff away, I'm sure, was one of the things. Let us put a wall in. Let's do like we did with the x-ray. I know it's not as needed. But here, I think that actually looks pretty good there with the wall down. So we'll do that again. Um, there. There we go. With those ones there. Not, not the highest ones, those ones. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So let's get back into this room, and there we can stick our, our desk and whatever else. Office desk, there we go. Hmm. I think I prefer that one. Yeah, there we go. Office desk with the PC on it, and an office chair. And then I kind of want all of this to be cupboards as well, really. Uh, radiology viewer. I mean that you would no well, it can't go on the window, can it? Well that's gonna have to go over here then I guess. I'll have a couple of those. 
dressing screen. A couple of those over there. Oh, we or we could get the privacy ones in. I mean, they no, they don't look as good to there. I don't think. I think I prefer those sta static ones. And a stool. I feel like there should be a stool in this area. And then a couple of wall-mounted cabinets there. And okay, what are the bits and bobs have we got that we can put in here? I feel like it, we need a cactus in here because it needs to be lovely. Uh, a clock on the wall, table lamp. There we go. We don't have. There's not as much stuff that we need in here, so I feel like we might as well fill it out with some nicer looking stuff. And the radiology. What does the radiology? No, no. CRC. What is it? What have we built? <laughs> um, CT. Right. Okay. So let's find the CT one. It's going to be some kind of scanning radiology, operating theatre, on call. Orthopedic and trauma, uh, sonography, just an old arrow. Doesn't look like there's actually a CT one in place. Neurology, neurolab, MRI. Oh, there's an MRI one. <clears throat> uh, oh, is that it there? CT, beautiful. And we'll have it on the wall there, and we'll put a door next to it. Uh, just a regular door, white door. Okay, so. What sort of staff do we need in this area then? Let's have a look. Um, it's telling us, I think it's lab, because it's not telling us we need anybody. Missing staff. So let's hire uh, a lab technician with radiology. I guess it's radiology? Because the whole area we're building is radiology, isn't it? So <clears throat> let's get um, Casey Cole. You're hired. And off. And let's unpause. And let's speed it up a little bit. Yeah, he seems to be happy in there. There are no clear diagnoses. Let's have a look at you, Frank Harris. Tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. Oh, yeah, we had... Didn't we have you... Uh, there's this hidden symptom. We can put you in a... MRI? We haven't got an MRI. That's a CT scan. Or is it the same thing? I can get confused. No, CT's a brain scan, isn't it? Oh, right, okay, so maybe that is a bit industrial for this area, but that's fine, whatever. We're a hospital now, I guess. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Um, active examinations, you've done all them. Oh, geez, it's just pain relief, isn't it? Yeah, well, sorry, Frank. Sorry, Frankie boy. You're poorly sick. It is what it is. Okay. Oh, well, you. Day shift. I should hope so. So yeah, all the hospitals have got all the hospitals, all the staff, have, all the uh, all the patients have gone home, apart from the couple that we're still seeing. Who are you, Jordan Taylor? Golfer's elbow. Donna Taylor's common cold. Nothing. Are you gonna? Are you, oh, there we go. Cough, rest. Yeah, you don't need anything else. Thank you, Dinah. Off you go. Janice is doing a pretty good job. Where are you going, buddy? Are you just using the loo? You're just leaving that there, are you? Yeah. Just dumping that. Okay. I feel like another toilet. Well, they've got that one there, haven't they, I suppose? There may be a third one up here. Some sort of, like, waiting space would be good here, I guess. Uh Okay, what I want to do is build the... I want to make this into a, a nice little garden as well. Because why not? They have them. I, we've been in hospital relatively recently. I um, I haven't been in hospital, but we've been visiting people. My, my grandmother had a stroke, so we were seeing her. And I noticed there was little gardens all over the place. Um, so that's kind of something I want to really want to try and push uh, but do I have no we carry it this way we'll make those we'll make those back into and a lot of the time there's, there wasn't even a way out to them you know they were literally just spaces to be able to see out the window and I guess they make uh, um, you know like nice 
uh, what's the word, like CO2 and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> uh, right, there's a couple of bushes here. Like I said, this is going to just be a little space. Can they rotate? Yeah, just give them a little bit of variation. Uh, okay, and then floor. We go back to our regular concrete. You're going to now come all the way down here as that, just to lean it all up. <clears throat> okay, good. Yeah, and then just some windows in that space just to kind of really keep it keep it fresh. Yep. Maybe a couple of posters on the wall. Let's do. Hmm. That's an eye. Do we have a we have a skull poster? I guess that's kind of like a brain, isn't it? Put that on the wall there. <clears throat> and then can we do regular benches in waiting spaces? It looks like we can, which is pretty good. So let's do one, two, and then a couple there and there. And then where's that little coffee table? A square table, is that what it's called? No, no, there is a that's different to yeah, that's different to coffee table. Coffee table's the one I want. Where are you? Search so would be nice. A coffee table, there we go. It's in the it's in the let's be honest, it's useless one, isn't it? And I want to put a notice board there. They often have them outside of wards and stuff. I know we haven't got a ward here. <coughs> Excuse me for a little cough. I thought I was all better, but I guess I'm a little bit poorly sick still. We are now nearly a hundred grand in debt, which is beautiful. That's exactly where we want to be. <clears throat> kind of happy with what we've done. Though we now have a CT scan set up. I don't know how often these are used, though. I think maybe the MRI one would have been more useful. MRI is like all body, isn't it? Um, and CT is your brain, I think. I'm not really, I'm not really hundred percent sure, to be honest. Let's skip through till morning. It's morning, and everyone's coming into work. They're all doing great. Some of them have gone straight into the staff room. Kind, kind of ridiculous, to be honest, how, uh, how lazy they are. But clinic's open. There we go. We've got patients coming in. So I guess, I mean, really, um, the last thing to do then is probably set up that last room, which is the uh, MRI. So we'll do that in the next episode. Um, in the meantime, I just want to kind of have a little look around the place. So let's follow somebody who's coming in. Here we go. We have nine symptoms of Frank. Another Frank. There's an awful lot of Franks in this. Okay. So ah, they ah right okay so that ticket with things working a bit because they've just gone straight his Frank's just gone straight in he has chronic fatigue God, there's a lot of that going around. Um, right, let's 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 watch somebody else going in. Here we go, Brooke Barclay. Can we do it ourselves? We can do it ourselves, can't we? Player control. Okay, interview. We are going to cure Brooke Barclay. She's only eighteen. She's either got a nail fungus or athlete's foot. Okay. So let's have a look at your foot. What's that one? Can collecting specific sample obtained from the patient's body used to determine the presence of a specific fungus? Um, uh, examine of the area. So uh, an examination would tell you whether or not it's fungus or athlete's foot, I think. So we'll go for that. Go and get yourself over onto the uh, onto the chair there, Brock. There you go. And take your top off so we can look at your feet. <laughs> I like this doctor's style. <laughs> yeah, so a lot. Elbows fine. Yeah, chest. Yeah, it's definitely an elf fungus. <laughs> on her. Um, how you could tell whether she's got athlete's foot or not from looking at her chest, I don't know. He's a good doctor. Uh, schedule procedures are finished. Um, the patient is waiting for another uh, examination or select diagnosis. Yeah, I think you've got athlete's foot. So, um, long term cure and reduced treatment time. Foot cream, lotion, foot cream for broad spectrum of use. Uh, that one. Antifungal ointment. Are you happy, Brock? With your manky feet? 
All right, let's do another one. I like this. This was fun. It's just come in. You've got laryngitis. I want somebody who's not been there. Uh, not been. There's another Frank. Jeez. Okay, who are you calling in? Go to. All right, so. Off you go then. <laughs> who are you calling in? Not you. Let's have a look. Is it you? Kate Thomas, no. You're happy, aren't you? Let's have a look. Uh, active treatments, yeah, good. Okay. It is coming in. Here we go. No, not Dana Cole. Get out of the way, Dana. Dana Johnson. Right, this is the guy's programmed like four names into this. Okay. David White is going to be seeing Dana Johnson. Let's speed her up so she gets in there. Okay. This is going to be done by me. Let's interview, first of all. Yeah. Let's have a little look. So what's up, uh, Miss Johnson? What can, I, what can I do for you here today? Um, uh, again, it's going rounds. Let's have a look. So I'm an for athlete's foot. You've been messing with the last woman, have you? You've been playing footsie. Um, I'm going to give you a, a physical examination because that sounds like the easiest. We don't really need to send you to the stat room if we're really struggling, do we? So, again... Miss Johnson, whip your top off. Let's figure out whether this is a fungus or at least foot. Um, all right, <laughs> let's speed him up a little bit. Yeah, athlete's foot. Let's give you the... Um, oh, we could do a steroid cream this time. Antihistamines, foot cream then, I guess. Controlled by doctors. Let's give you, let's give you both, whatever. Take them. There you go. You'd be good in it. Oh, all of them. Jeez. Take the lot. I forget this isn't a public uh, healthcare system, is it? <laughs> Take the lot. Yeah, spend the money. In the UK here, we sometimes they give you sometimes they give you a twig to scratch your foot with. Um, all right. So yeah, mostly this is the busy bit, and then occasionally stuff comes over here. Probably if we were more concerned about cash, we would maybe just have one lab technician look after all of these, to be honest. I think that would probably be, or at least, or two maybe, one to do these two, but this, because this guy seems pretty busy, he's got, he's got stuff going on. Yeah. Cool. Right, I think we'll leave you there. Next episode uh, will be our last episode where we uh, finish. I don't know why my voice cracked then. I was all excited. Uh, where we put an MRI room in and have some final thoughts of this early demo of the game. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop those down in the comments. And if you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.